Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I hope that y'all can see me okay here. Uh, I did not turn on my ring light because with my glasses, I felt like it was too much of a glare. So I hope that you can see me okay. As you see, I have a Dollar Tree haul and I've been picking up a few things here and there from different stores. And so I wanted to share with y'all what I've been finding. And uh, if you decorate like me, uh, I have a Mrs. Claus baking theme in my kitchen. And then in my living room and dining room area, it's more rustic, woodsy sort of feel. And it, that's the same way also in my bedroom as well. So uh, I've been grabbing a few things here and there. And I'm excited about these. And uh, I will be trying to use these in with my... Uh, my winter decor and my Christmas decor. So, uh, I, and I'll mention what I'll be using it for because I do decorate for winter as well. So, uh, I will uh, let y'all know what I have been picking up. All right, so let's go ahead and start first here with signs because I do have some here. Uh, I am into wreath making, so I did purchase this sign here for a wreath. And I just love with the deer and the cabin feel and all. So I wanted to look at trying to hold on to this for a wreath. I thought it was so pretty. And then I wanted to possibly use this by my hot cocoa uh, bar that I do every year. And I like this with, that says uh, Christmas wishes and hot cocoa kisses. It's so pretty to me. I do have another one that I use that does have some hot cocoa on there and it's real pretty as well. And I'll probably be using that one also. I can't remember if I, I may have put that on my hutch last year. So we'll see, but I might use this by my hot cocoa bar. I also picked up this one as well for possibly a wreath. Uh, I just like the way that it looked with the Christmas tree farm. I like these styles anyway. So if I don't use them for a wreath, I can always hold on to them for myself. We'll just see. Uh, but I have so much Christmas decor as it is right now, so we'll see. Uh, this is another hot cocoa bar sign. 50 cents warm up here on the farm. I, I like this one as well. So we'll see. I need to start probably retiring some of my older signs and start trying to use some of the newer signs. Uh, so that way I don't accumulate so much stuff. This one I thought was adorable also. Uh, this one kind of got, would go well with that one. It says reindeer sleigh rides, 50, I mean, I'm sorry, five cent per ride, warm blankets and hot cocoa. I just couldn't pass them up. I just really liked them a lot. My first thought was for wreaths, but I might uh, hang them up in my home. I'm not sure yet. But see how nicely these would go together because this is uh, like a tree farm. And then you got this one that talks about like sl uh, sleigh rides. So I think that they would look nice uh, next to one another. Oh, well, and this one as well. I'm sorry. <laughs> so all three of these I think would look really nice paired together. Oh. I also found this sign here, it's a steak, and I thought this would be real cute uh, to use with my winter decor. Uh, it just says, let it snow, so I think that it can be used through the winter. You don't have to just use it for Christmas, so that's what I'm going to be saving that for. Along with this one as well, I'll be using this also in the winter, and this is a pretty nice size. I would say probably 18 inches maybe, but he's so, so cute. I thought about my fiance's uh, mother uh, when I saw these two, because she loves snowmen like I do. And uh, I thought about her when I saw those. All right, I also found this one to also use for winter. If kisses were snowflakes, I'd send you a blizzard. And that one's probably about the same length as well as that last one I just showed you. So, I mean, if you see these signs and you happen to decorate for the winter, uh, I would say go ahead and scoop those on up because they don't seem like they're just related to Christmas to me. And uh, so I have like a snowy type theme with woodland characters and snowmen and things like that. And so uh, through the month of January, I do decorate for winter. So if you're interested in that and you're stopping by for the first time, I would like for you to come back 
and check my channel out about, you know, for that as well. Okay, so I found these here and I just could not uh, just go with one and I'll show you why. So let me see how, well, you probably not be able to see them that well. Let me, okay, let me take this off and that way you get an idea because you're not gonna be able to see it truly. Okay, so it says cookies for Santa and it's kind of like a block style, pretty thick piece of wood. Uh, and like I said, in my kitchen, I do the Mrs. Claus baking thing. So I think I'm gonna probably put these up on the ledge up there in my uh, kitchen nook. And then on the other side, so I did grab two, uh, says tis, tis the season for baking. So uh, I didn't like the fact that they reversed. So my thought was that I would send them side by side like this. And uh, so I just, I just like the idea that, uh, you know, I could use both of them. Uh, I hate that they did it like this, you know, where it's, I mean, I understand about reversible, but I felt like I had to buy two of them. All righty, so let me move some of this stuff back over here and then we'll go ahead and move into some of the other things. Uh, I also found some ornaments that I wanted to go ahead and grab. And these I can use in the winter. And they are a pair of skis. Let's see, I think I like that. So I picked up the gray pair there. And the red, this, well, this one does say ski lift. That one doesn't have anything on it. Oh, maybe it had, ooh. I bet you two to one it had something there, but it probably came off, but that's okay. Uh, this one does say ski lift. And it could have said the same exact thing, but I'm all right with it. And then also I found this little pair of ice skates. And uh, if you've watched my channel, I do have a year round tree that's in my uh, bedroom. And so uh, I thought these would be cute to display on that tree and use those this year. I was able to find all kinds of different little trees. I thought these were real cute. I think I'm gonna do something different this year. During the summer, I found some different, um, like little ice cream type things, uh, candy type things uh, in like the fairy garden area. And I was sort of thinking about, cause I didn't get to do it during the summer, but I was sort of thinking about possibly uh, incorporating that in my uh, decor this year. And I just like the way that these little trees looked with the little candy pieces. Or I might use these somewhere around my kitchen area. I'm just kind of figuring out how, where I want to display it. Um, I did first think the dining room, and I do have a Christmas village in the dining room. So we'll see. It's either gonna be my dining room or somewhere in my kitchen. But I like the way that these look. I thought, looked they were adorable. They came in green um, with, I think, red and green bottoms of like the candy bottoms. And then they had, um, what other color was there? I know there's another color with uh, white and green candy. So I think those three different styles. But I chose this one. I like the pink trees and that. And then speaking of pink trees, I was gonna use these for um, Valentine's Day. So I wanna go ahead and scoop these on up now. And I could probably even use them, you know, in my kitchen with my theme that I have going on. But I found uh, this little pink tree here. And then this real light looking tree. It looks like an ombre with the white and the pink at the bottom. But first I did think about Valentine's Day, which I could re reuse them for that but I might also incorporate them for Christmas. We'll see. And another little pink one. So I wanted to grab those. And then also I have a few of these that I picked up from Walmart, but I was pleasantly surprised when I found them at Dollar Tree this year. The colors do look a little bit slightly different, but I knew that this would go with my theme in my bedroom or my living room. So I wanted to get those. I found this and it was in the bonus section and my little miniature schnauzer, 
she normally can wear like a size medium or large. Now this one does say extra large and I thought this, they did probably run a little bit small. So I got the extra large for her, but I thought it was so cute. They didn't have anything any bigger than this size. But uh, with the gingerbread men and the candy canes, oh my gosh, I decorate my Christmas with this and I thought that this would be so adorable. I have not tried it on her yet. I sh gosh, I hope that it fits her because it would be so stinking cute. So, uh, <laughs> so I think she'll look real, real cute in that, real festive. I also grabbed these. Uh, I don't know if I want to redo these or leave them what, how they are. Um, I think I'm going to put a, I'm, I'm bad about that, y'all. I got to have a boy and a girl. So I think I might put a little bow on one to make it look like more like a little girl. But they came like this. And you could easily take all this off and redo it with your own like um, yarn, you know, and redo it, make it all, you know, a little bit more nicer than what it is, you know, because it's a little cheatsy. But I don't know. I still think they're cute. So I'm going to try to see if I can incorporate them somewhere uh, in my uh, decor. We have lots of gingerbread things, y'all. So hang on tight. If you like gingerbread, this one's for you. Okay, so I also found this little dish. Now, there was two different styles. This is the one that I chose. I just liked it better, though. This one says warm wishes. Thought it was real cute. Uh, you could put like... Oh, I don't know, dip or something down in there. I just thought it was real cute. I keep saying cute, y'all. I've said that before. I don't mean to, y'all, but it is cute. <laughs> uh, so I found that one. And then this one is the same saying, and it looks like this. So that would be cute displayed if you had like crackers and chips or, you know, some sort of dip or something. Um, yeah, some sort of like, I don't know. Or you could put like little condiments or something, pickles or something like that down in there. So I thought that these were darling. I didn't say cute. <laughs> okay. I found this sign as well. And I really liked it. It says old fashioned gingerbread bakery, cookies, cakes, pie, and candy. Now I'm debating if I want to redo this at all. I did debate, do I want to change the black and white to something else, like put scrapbook paper over it? I don't know. I might leave it. Um, but then I also thought about putting some sort of label up here, like say Mrs. Claus or something. I might do that. I'm not, I haven't decided yet. But all in all, I really like this sign. When I saw that they were coming out with this, uh, I was looking and on the hunt for this. So I'm so happy about that. I found these now. I'm still on the lookout. There was four different designs. Uh, I was able to find two. I was able to find the gingerbread and the candy cane, which really was like my favorite. Uh, they do have a red truck with a tree in the back. And there was one other one. I can't remember now what it was, but I know there was four total. So this one here is a candy cane. And as you see, there's the picture of what it is there. It says uh, candy canes, cookies, cocoa, and confections. Uh, it's a pillow, well, they call it a pillowcase, but like a pillow cover. And it is 15.748 by 15.748. So a little over 15 inches. And again, there's the design on that one. Sorry for the glare, y'all. So, uh, there's that one. And then this one says, baked fresh daily gingerbread baking cookies, cakes, pies, hot cocoa. And that's what that one looks like there. So, so adorable. So, I'll be using these, even though I have pillow covers and I've got pillows all on my, on my couch, but we're going to make it work. <laughs> I'm not a minimalist around here, y'all. All right. Uh, also, I thought these were adorable. Now, I do have an old school, old school cricket. And mine is the one with the old cartridges. No, I have not updated. I really don't feel like I need to because I don't use it that much enough. And the cartridges that I have, that they work just fine. 
So I, uh, oh, oh no. Oh no, y'all. <laughs> oh no, no, no. I don't know if, I thought I saw this right. Well, dang, I'm upset with myself now. Um, huh. Okay, well, I have to go back and see about this, but the store I went to is over in the next state over, which don't take me that long to get over there. Uh, 25, 30 minutes, but still. All right, so, well, let's get to it. I found these, uh, as you see, it says uh, Mrs. I hope you can tell that. Um, and it has the little uh, Santa hat on there. Now, when I picked these up, I thought they said Mr. and Mrs., I don't know if they all said Mrs., uh, but then I started thinking, I was like, well, does it say Mr. on one side? But it doesn't. They both say Mrs. So, but I didn't put one back or nothing. I'll, I mean, I grabbed, you know, I just, I don't know. I thought it said Mr. So, I'm, I don't know. I may have to end up going back to that store and seeing, do they have Mr.? Because um, I really don't want two Mrs. Hmm. Well, anyways, what I was going to say, y'all, let me show y'all with this one. What I was going to do was I was going to put Claus down here with my Cricut. And then that way it'd say Mrs. Claus. And like I said, I was hoping that it's had, I had the Mr. where it'd say Mr. Claus. I don't know. I just thought that there was a, I got a Mr. one too. But I thought that they were so cute to just sit up, probably even display in my, um, if you see behind me, uh, I have the, um, some of the cabinets that has a glass in the front. So normally on this other side where you can't see on this other end, uh, I put like nice glasses like this in there, uh, seasonal glasses. So um, I wouldn't mind to display them up in there and I thought that would be cute, you know, and to have Mr. and Ms. Claus. But otherwise, like I said, I'll just have to go back and see um, or send my mother over because she's over in that she lives in the state of Alabama. I'm in Georgia. But we can just skip right over the Chattahoochee River, y'all. So Alright. Um, so those, those are those. Sorry, y'all, about the whole spiel. Alright, let's see what we have. A couple more bags here. Let me see what I have in these bags. Okay, let me put this one with this other. Oh, let's see. Okay. I don't know how that got in there like that. I found this too to sit up and put some candy or cookies or something in by my hot cocoa bar. As the young people are saying, so adorbs. <laughs> so that's, I wanted that. And all right, so um, if you've seen my uh, Christmas home tour, uh, last year, or even the year before, if you followed me now for the last couple of years, um, I do a Christmas village. I have it on my buffet. And then I added two other tables with displays as well. So I'm getting pretty full. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and get these. I, I love the way that these look as well this year. They always come out with new designs. They get us every year. All right, so they have like the stained glass church. Now you do see you've got the uh oh this is different y'all okay not okay last couple of years they've been putting uh it's round at the bottom and you push your tea light um battery operated tea light candle in the bottom well this year let me take my glasses off so i can see a little bit better um okay you just put a battery in not a tea light okay huh eh. You know, the only thing that I don't like about this thing, about like this concept, is I noticed at uh, Halloween, they had pumpkins where you had to have specific batteries. Can't find the batteries to replace. These are taking a certain kind that I've never heard of. Uh, hopefully I can find. <laughs> once, you know, once these go dead, we'll see. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, there, there's a cute little stained glass. And like I said, let me show you the bottom. You know, you see that you got the little switch here and then place to put your uh, battery there. Okay, so that's that one. And then they had this little house uh, here.
This is the Cobblestone Cafe. If I don't drop it. And then they did a Cobblestone Sweets and Treats. And I thought, wouldn't it be so cute? Where did it go? I bet I put them up. I don't know where my bag went, y'all. Uh, here it is. Wouldn't these trees even be real cute next to it? Adorable. So, uh, that's the reason why I was thinking about that whole, whole little sweets theme uh, that I had from the uh, summertime to uh, put with this one. So every year, if you're looking at collecting these, they come out with four new ones every year. And then I have people and things like that, but I have all that. You know, it shows like, I'll have like little Santa and, and kids and things like that, which I had all that. I really don't need more of that, but they, they do come out with those. I also found some towels. Uh, let me go ahead and get all these out. Now, I can't really mention what I'm doing with all these. Um, they're gonna be for Christmas gifts, but I may have some people, uh, family that follow this channel, so I do wanna kinda just be careful about what I say. And I can always like show y'all um, later on like what I'm doing. I just don't wanna give it away and then everyone know, you know, what's going on. So I do wanna be careful, you know, with that. But I do wanna show y'all, just in case if, you know, by some chance if you are looking um, you know, for some towels or to give away for gifts or what have you. So they have this one that says, have yourself a merry little Christmas with the red truck. I love that. I am keeping this one for myself because I do have the red truck theme and everything in my home. As well as I really liked, was it this one? Oh no, it was this one down here. Okay, well, we'll get to that in a little bit. Okay, they have wishing you a Merry Christmas with a little wagon. That one's adorable, too. Okay, I have a couple of those. I try to get a couple of each one. And then this one is North Pole Bed and Breakfast. Hot cocoa served here. I want this one as well. <laughs> Wouldn't this be cute with this sign here, y'all? Look at that. Perfect. Would even be good for a gift idea. So I have a couple of that one. And then they had this one that was North Pole Tree Farm Christmas Trees This Way. I'm keeping this one. Maybe I'm not keeping the other red truck. I think I decided to keep this one instead, not the other one. I don't need two red trucks. And then they also had this one. Tis the season to be jolly. So, but I'll share with y'all later on what I'm going to be doing with these. I know I've already shared that I've already been picking up some um, of other designs. So, we'll have a chat about that later on. And uh, I'll let you know what I'm doing with that. So, I'll keep you posted. Let's see. All right. So, this is the last thing. This was in the bonus section. They were $5. And they had all different ones. The angel was real cute. They had Santa. They had an elf. So if you have any of those themes, that would be really cute. I'm trying to think what else there was. This snowman. The gingerbread, which I'll show you that here in a minute. Um, that might have been it. But I was going to save this for my winter. Uh, my gingerbread, I did turn one into a girl. But uh, this one, I think I may just have just him so i think i may just leave him i don't think i'm a fool with trying to recreate a girl with this one i mean you probably could but i'm not i don't know that i, I don't know i'll think about it i might change my mind <laughs> okay so this was the one that i did see i haven't done anything any different to him uh there's there's my little miniature schnauzer y'all <laughs> she has another jacket on but he has his little chef's hat on, his little bow tie, his little chef uh, or apron. He has his little apron on. And I do think he's real adorable. 
But the more that I started thinking about him, I was like, I think I can recreate a uh, girl version of him. So I went and, because they didn't have one, they just had him, just like they did the, um, the uh, snowman. So I, re I made her. So now I'm showing y'all this because if by some chance you want to do this and you love gingerbread like I do, I want to show y'all what I did. So, as you see, I cut the top of the hat off. Okay, you see this is like a big poofy piece. I cut this off, and then I glued this piece together, and then I tore this off, and then let me show you how I did it, okay? Let me put him down for a minute so I can get in closer. Okay, so what I did was I cut it off. I, I cinched this together, and then I took the bow that was, would have been down here, and I put it up here, okay? And then I added back this piece along the top too. So, and then because all this was like all like glued and gross looking, I added her some little pearls that I had um, from my daughter's wedding. I had some little pearls uh, that I used with her flowers. And then she, I put this back on, but I did glue another piece of felt to the back so I could slide it right back over. And uh, I was debating about putting something on the apron. If y'all think of something, let me know. I thought about maybe making something a little cutesy for her, just to kind of make her look a little bit different. But I'm okay with the way that it looks like this. It's okay. If you think of something though, just let me know. Um, Cause I was like, huh, can I put something on there? Or maybe I just leave it, I don't know. But I now love it. Cause now I have a boy and a girl. I can sit them up together. And uh, so I just want to show y'all that just in case if you wanted to. Uh, this, like I said, was the $10. And then I had all the stuff to modify her at home. I didn't have to go and buy anything else. So if you're looking at doing that, that's what I would suggest. Real, real, real easy. All right, y'all. So I think that is the end of my haul here. I don't think I have anything else. I hope that y'all enjoyed that haul. Like I said, if you think of a way that I can take that off of there, let me know so I can try to do something with that. And um, <clears throat> and then uh, let me know, you know, if you uh, yeah, you know, happen to try or want to try this with the with the girl here. All right, y'all. So uh, that's all that I have for today. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, welcome. I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. Check out some of my other videos. I do home tours, I do DIYs, and I do shopping hauls. And sometimes I'll sprinkle in some other little things here and there. Uh, so I will be showing y'all my Thanksgiving home tour. I need to go ahead and get that filmed so that y'all can see that before Thanksgiving. And uh, I'll be also working on some DIYs and decorate my home after Thanksgiving for Christmas. So y'all, please come on back. Come back and join me. Uh, and uh, and I love to hear from y'all. Also, if y'all would please hit that um, thumbs up. That helps me out. And as always, y'all, thanks for watching. Bye.